An update for the OpenSense firewall dropped Tuesday of this week, and this releases 25.1.1, which addresses a few bug fixes. Um, so looking at the forum post, uh, here we are with further refinements to 25.1, and it's looking pretty good so far. Um, I've done a couple of updates of 25.1 to 25.1.1, and I've not had any issues as yet, to be honest. Uh, so included are the recent FreeBSD security advisories and the open SSL 3.0.16, which just came out on Monday. Uh, and the roadmap for 25.7 is being worked on at the moment and should be ready for publication next week. So I'm interested to have a look at that. So I'd recommend that if you're on 25.1 that you do up, update to 25.1.1 to address these security advisories. Uh, and of course, the bug fixes in port. Let's dive in and take a look. Sheridan Computers, IT, Communications, Support. OS Caddy, the reverse proxy and web server has been updated. So they've added client IP headers. They've added the cloud DNS provider, generalized some headers, forward off and copy headers directive. And they've fixed the shortcut buttons in the user interface template. CrowdSec, the threat intelligence plugin, has been updated, which fixes real references for OpenSense 25.1. The dynamic DNS client script has been updated. They've added support for altering IPv6 addresses in the native backend, and they've fixed an issue with domain host recognition from the NetCup hosting provider. A number of ports have been updated, which are packages brought in from FreeBSD. So curl has been updated. Monit, OpenSSL, PCRI and PHP has been updated to 8.3.16. So no extra features for you here. Most of these are bug fixes in packages from FreeBSD used by OpenSense. If you're interested in the other things that have changed, let's have a look at that now. So um, it's mainly bug fixes like update button wording on the new HA status page. Uh, reporting, fix missing typecasts, interfaces, fix undefined, undefined array key, uh, remove hello and time configuration. The uh, update firmware process has had a couple of fi bug fixes. Um, they've revoked the 24.7 version fingerprint. A couple of fixes with captive portal. Uh, glob patterns fixed with IPsec. Uh, monit reverted wrap exec in double quotes to allow arguments. Uh, the user interfaces with a couple of uh, they've reverted a few style changes that was only relevant to the development version. Uh, we've gone over the plugins OS Caddy, OS CrowdSec, DD client, um, PF send ICMP destination unreachable fragmentation needed when appropriate. Uh, the VXLAN interfaces have had a couple of fixes. Um, PF force login if PF create state fails. And tar file system, X2F file system, the CD9660 file systems have uh, had a couple of fixes. They've imported the new time zone data for 2025. Um, K-Trace, audit, uh, just bug fixes, NetINet, again, bug fixes, and the ports that we mentioned, curl, monit, open SSL, pgree2, and PHP to 8.3. If you find these updates useful, um, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video so uh, others become aware of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.